Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in today's video, I'm very excited to share with you that you can now set attribution parameters in the opportunities widgets inside your dashboards. Opportunity attribution widgets enable the user to know which marketing campaigns are effective and where the sales and revenue is coming from. So let me show you a few more things that are new and how you can set this up. Being logged into your account, you want to click on dashboards on the left. Then maybe you have already your widgets set up. I've created a brand new dashboard for specifically the attribution parameters. Now let's click on edit, click on add widget, click on opportunities. And here you can select any widget. Let's say we choose opened opportunities. Then you want to click on conditions then click on the drop down menu and here you can see the attribution select that then you want to select the attribution type is it first attribution or is it last attribution we're going to select first attribution right now then here you can set more attribution fields let's click on that then under this drop down menu you can select the medium utm add group id utm add id campaign campaign id content keyword matchy type medium session source or utm source you can also display this in a table chart so let's click on table at the top let's click on configure and here you can see all the columns so click on select columns you can deselect or keep them all select depending on what you want to see in your table chart opportunity name source assigned user pipeline status tags here you can see all of the utm parameters and so on and so forth for now we're just going to keep them all check marked let's hit apply columns and let's hit save and here you can see our table chart showcasing all the opportunities according to the data what we just added to the widget and if we scroll to the right we can see all the different columns named according to what we checked all of these little boxes okay so you can see all the utm parameters here you can see lost created on tags emails stage and so on and so forth here i have added another sample widget so in this case we are showcasing the abandoned checkout so it's one person who abandoned our checkout if you click on it you can see the granular insights and as per usual you can see all of the insights and the data if you scroll more to the right you can see here the session source first session source last was direct traffic and then you can see all of the other utm parameters at the top right here as well if you wanted to download this data you can do so by just clicking the download mode here you can see it is not allowed in edit mode so what you're going to do is exit this hit save changes so we are not in edit mode anymore then go back and now you can see we can export the table data now here i've created another widget which shows you the direct traffic where do these opportunities come from if you click on the three dots here you can click on edit here we can change the title to direct traffic for example and if you click on conditions so you can see the attribution type is either first or last latest attribution but let's say you don't have this set up you will not see the additional attribution fields so if you want to have more options to really filter you have to set attribution type is first or last okay so in this case it's first then we're going to click and select session source scroll down a little bit here session source is one off or is none off we keep it one off and then we chose direct traffic you can choose here organic search paid search social media depending on what your marketing campaign is then let's hit save and here you can see again the data being displayed if you click on it you have the same scenario you see the entire list of people who have signed up for this via the direct traffic and here you can see the attribution parameters session source first and session source last and let's say you wanted to change the data that's been displayed you want to just deselect any of those you just click edit here then you would select column then you would just uncheck any of those data points which you do not want to have displayed see here they are deselected now you can just easily reselect them again or vice versa hit apply columns and hit save so you can really customize your whole dashboard according to what it is that you want to see also you can create group by or view by with donut and line click add widget so this is the line widget this is a donut widget click donut again go to opportunities select open and here under group you can select the status assignee source or pipeline and then under advanced settings you can just do as you like order descending or ascending limit how many you want to show 10 is fine date property created on updated on or status change let's select status change for example and then you can select the date range override as well we're gonna leave that as is and hit save yep and right here that's how your display will look like i hope you like this new feature which will help you to enhance lead tracking optimize campaigns and enhance client reporting i will see you in the next update